The Story of Amara, by Kunal Ram Churn. In a small, dusty village in the heart of Africa, there lived a young girl named Amara. Her village, nestled between arid lands and parched hills, was a place where hope often seemed like a distant dream. The sky was an endless expanse of sun-baked blue, and the land below was unforgiving, its soil cracked and barren. Amara was only twelve, but her spirit was as vast as the desert sky. Her father had passed away when she was very young, and her mother struggled to make ends meet by working in the village's meager fields. Despite the harsh conditions, Amara was determined to make a difference in her life and her community. Every day, she would walk miles to collect water from a distant well, her small feet leaving imprints in the dry earth. Her greatest dream was to go to school, to learn and gain knowledge that could help her village. But her village had no school, and many of the villagers had long since given up on the idea of education. They believed that survival was more important than learning, and that education was a luxury that their impoverished lives could not afford. Yet Amara saw things differently. She believed that education was the key to breaking the cycle of poverty and improving their lives. Every evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon and the sky turned a deep, velvety purple, Amara would sit under the solitary baobab tree in the center of the village. With a tattered notebook and a stub of a pencil, she would write and draw, teaching herself what she could from old books she had found and from the stories her mother shared. Her determination was unwavering, and her resolve was forged from the trials she faced daily. One day, a group of outsiders arrived in the village. They were from an organization that aimed to build schools in remote areas. The villagers gathered around, skeptical and weary, having seen many such promises fall short. But Amara's eyes sparkled with a mixture of hope and apprehension. She approached the visitors, her small voice steady but filled with conviction. Please, she said, build a school here. It will change our lives. It will change everything. The visitors, moved by Amara's sincerity and the condition of the village, agreed to help. Construction began, and Amara's dreams seemed on the verge of coming true. But progress was slow and challenges were many. Supplies were scarce, and weather conditions made building difficult. The villagers, worn out by years of struggle, began to lose faith again. Amara, however, remained a beacon of hope. Every day, she would visit the construction site, bringing water and encouragement to the workers. She continued her studies under the baobab tree, her resolve unshaken by the obstacles. Whenever others doubted or gave up, she reminded them of the vision she held and the future she believed in. Months passed, and the school was finally completed. The villagers were amazed, though many remained cautious. Amara was the first student to step through the doors of the new school. She learned with fervor her mind absorbing knowledge like a parched land receiving its first rain. Her enthusiasm was infectious, and soon more children joined her. The school became a place of transformation, not just for the children but for the entire village. As Amara grew older, she used her education to teach others and to help her village develop sustainable practices. The barren land slowly began to show signs of life as new crops were introduced and the once distant dream of a better life started to take root. Amara's journey was a testament to the power of perseverance and the strength of unwavering belief. In the toughest circumstances, when success seemed elusive and hope was a fragile thread, she refused to give up. Her story spread far beyond her village, inspiring many to see that even in the most challenging situations, determination and hope could carve a path to a brighter future. Amara's legacy became a symbol of resilience. Her story reminded everyone that no matter how insurmountable the odds may seem, the spirit of perseverance and the pursuit of one's dreams could change lives and create miracles. Just as Amara's unwavering spirit and resilience transformed her village, so too can your determination and perseverance reshape your trading journey. Remember that setbacks are part of the process, not the end. Keep your vision clear and goals in sight and embrace each challenge as an opportunity to grow and learn. Seek out support from mentors and trading communities, celebrate your small victories, and maintain hope, even when progress feels slow. By staying committed and continuously improving, you can overcome obstacles and achieve success.
Let Amara's story be a beacon of inspiration, reminding you that persistence and faith in your goals can turn adversity into triumph.